the origins of the Fenestron. It was in the middle of the 1960s that the idea of shrouding the anti-torque rotor of a helicopter was first considered in response to safety concerns. The studies carried out at the time on ducted propellers in the fixed-wing sector inspired the creation of the Fenestron. The Fenestron was fitted for the first time in the second Gazelle prototype, SA340002, nearly 50 years ago, on April 12, 1968. René Mouilleux and Paul Fabre were the brains behind an invention of crucial importance to our company and the aerospace industry in general. It was designed to enhance the safety of ground personnel and people working in an operational environment. The helicopter, due to its agility, can operate in confined spaces in which the tail rotor, if damaged, could pose a risk. The aerodynamicist, Fabre, proposed calling the shrouded tail rotor a fenestral, a Provencal word meaning small window. Fenestral then became Fenestron. Fitted with a Fenestron, the Gazelle was approved in 1972 at the all-up weight of 1.8 tonnes. This first-generation Fenestron was equipped with metal blades evenly spaced around the hub. It was promptly fitted in the Dauphin, the successor of the Alouette III, whose first prototype flew in June 1972. One of the desired objectives was to ensure a safe landing in the event of a tail rotor failing. In 1975, the engineers carried out tests on an 11-blade Fenestron measuring 1.6 metres in diameter in a 7-tonne Puma. A significant amount of additional research work and enhancements were made, but the results were not satisfactory. This Fenestron was simply too heavy, too loud and used up too much power. The obvious conclusion being that there was a limit to the size of helicopter in which it could be fitted. The trials conducted over a period of nearly 10 years helped identify the benefits of installing the Fenestron. Enhanced safety, less mechanical strains at high speeds, less vibrations throughout the flight envelope. And negative aspects, heavier, more expensive and louder. But its overriding advantages prompted the engineers to continue to work on improving the concept. The second generation Fenestron was unveiled at the end of the 70s thanks to technological developments in materials and the launch of a call for tender by the American Coast Guard. They needed a highly maneuverable aircraft for maritime rescue operations. The Dauphin was put forward and won the contract with a 20% larger Fenestron. With a diameter measuring 1m10, it gave room for composite materials which are much lighter than metal. Commissioned in 1985 and renowned for its success, around 100 aircraft are still in operation with more than 1.5 million flight hours to its credit. Throughout its history, the performance and flight qualities of the Fenestron have not ceased improving and include the development of blade profiles, shroud contours, the addition of the stator system, which recovers the energy lost in flow rotation, and finally, adjustment of the tail fin unit to the Fenestron on each type of aircraft. We therefore achieved the same aerodynamic performance as on a conventional double diameter tail rotor. Between 1987 and 1991, this research was successfully validated on a modified Ecureuil, the AS350Z. The prototype is on display at the entrance to the Marignan site. The third generation Fenestron will be inspired from the AS350Z. 
and will respond to the sales department which, in 1994, demanded a drastic decrease in helicopter's sound level. Notable improvements have already been made to the main rotor. However, the tail rotor still offers significant potential for improvement in this area. The fenestrum was too noisy in some flight configurations. Adjustments to the blade distribution with a view to avoiding the concentration of the sound emitted on the dominant frequency, as well as the adoption of a stator system with thin slanted blades and the reduced road to speeds, achieved a very satisfactory compromise. The silent fenestron was unveiled. In 1994, the EC-135 adopted these principles and was followed in 1995 by the EC-120. A proof of the effectiveness of this new arrangement in 1996, they both received a Decibel d'Or, awarded by the French Environment Ministry, which recognises innovative products in the fight against noise pollution. In 1999, the EC-130 undertook its first flight with a Fenestron that was closely based on the one of the EC-135. This allowed it to achieve the highly coveted Grand Canyon National Park Noise Certificate. Research will continue and, in 2005, a testing campaign managed by ONERA was launched to identify the flight conditions under which the Fenestron still proves to be noisy. In 2011, the EC145T2 adopted an upgraded version of the third generation Fenestron at the time of its upgrade, including re-engineering. Finally, in 2015, a new step was overcome with the Blue Copter demonstrator, thanks to the upgraded design of the blades and the stator system. The acoustic liner incorporated into the fairing of the fenestron and the active control of the tail fin also contribute to reducing the aircraft's noise footprint. Fenestron is a simple, sturdy, fail-safe system. A limited number of simple technology parts without elastomers and bearings. Even if a leaf of a torsion beam breaks, safe flying is still possible. The dynamic system serves three functions. Holding the centrifugal force, guiding the blades and controlling their pitch. The torsion beam makes it possible to withstand the blade rotation stresses through very thin stainless steel leaves. A control plate acts on the pitch of the blades, which are guided by two tall on bearings. This features a collective pitch induced by the liner movement of the rear servo control. Customer benefits, easy maintenance and no complex checks to be performed. Removing the fairing allows to gain access to the heart of the fenestron, which makes it possible to perform a quick check of all components, torsion beams, control plate, pitch lever. The fenestron delivers excellent performance even in hard operating conditions. The integration of the torsion beam function has improved the H145 helicopter fenestron. The difference is a single piece composite blade with a torsion wise flexible zone, thus eliminating all links, thus eliminating any links. After a two-year development phase, the H145 helicopter Fenestron was tested in flight on June 25, 2010. 
It was the first helicopter fitted with a new generation Fenestron, featuring fully integrated carbon fiber blades. Such an innovation provided a greater reliability and lower operating and maintenance costs. The H145 Fenestron, as derived from that of the H135 helicopter, features 10 blades over a 1 meter 15 diameter. Its major advantages, an increased operating safety, and a reduced sound level. The shrouded tail rotor reduces the accident hazards and makes working close to the aircraft safer. The asymmetric distribution of the Fenestron rotor blades reduces its noise level. It is quieter than its predecessors, which is an outstanding advantage when operating in inhabited areas, especially in both night and day environments 365 days a year. Thanks to its low noise print, it is mainly operated in urban zones for medical evacuation and police missions. All available technologies were used to reduce its sound footprint. A variable rotation speed, blue edge blades, which are particularly effective in the approach phase and which remove the impulsive nature of the noise, which is the most bothersome. A Fenestron, which reduces the sound level of the tail rotor, making it possible to guarantee an exceptional safety level for ground operations, which is vital for a multi-mission aircraft. The Fenestron concept is valid up to 5 to 6 tonnes in the H160 category. New architectural constraints were therefore taken into account so that it may receive the most powerful Fenestron on the market. It took advantage of the latest technologies to guarantee a minimal sound level and ensure manoeuvrability that is worthy of its legendary ancestor, the Dauphin. Finally, it was also tilted to improve performance and ensure exceptional riding comfort at low speeds. The results? The H160 offers excellent flight qualities and a sound level which currently makes it the quietest twin-engine aircraft on the market. Test pilots and customers who have tried it are unanimous. Far from having had its last whirl, the Fenestron is now on the VSR 700, which is derived from the Cabri by Gembel Helicopters and in some ways from the City Airbus concept which is based on the use of shrouded rotors. The adventure continues. <laughs>